Okay, I'm in um, Dead Horse Cave, the lower end. I came in the lower entrance. I've been sticking to the main tube. Well, I mean the big tube, heading over towards the main tube. So, I haven't really been exploring. I've been here a while. I'm not going to stay here all day. I'm just sort of testing my new flashlight, refreshing my memory a bit. So, yeah, I'm standing up now. The cave here is maybe seven and a half feet tall. No, I did not use metric. Anyway, but you get the idea. So, it's not the prettiest cave, but it's a, it's a maze. There's a part I just went through. It was an eight-way intersection, for real. So, I hope you're good at navigating. All right, actually, or you could cheat and bring a map, but even if you have a map, I hope you're good at navigating. I had a map, I don't have it with me, but whatever. There's a cool shortcut up there, too small for people. I have no idea if bats come in here or not. It's a pretty wet cave, so I really don't know if bats use this cave or not. It would make sense if they did, but then again, it would make sense if they didn't either way. It doesn't get a lot of people because it's physically and mentally demanding. Definitely not recommended for beginners beginning cavers but once you get a little bit of practice so you can navigate underground not get yourself stuck there's no GPS here no satellite phone cell phone nothing so magnetic compass is about the only device you could use well besides a map map and a compass maybe your memory so I like to do just go through over and over till I kind of have it memorized. But yeah, it's a long drive from where I live. So I only come here every couple of years, especially since it's a multi-day thing. I can only get in here certain times of the year because of the rain and snow. Like you notice right now, I'm pretty much crawling over a puddle. Trying to get myself wet. Heaven for it, right? I'll get myself wet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good. I'm not lazy or tired, but I'm gonna sit here just so I can get a look around at how complicated, very interesting cave is. Smooth areas, rough areas, clean areas, dirty areas, brown areas, ground. Very interesting. so much mud here. I'm always wondering, is there seriously sometimes a creek flowing through here? Very suspicious. I mean, it's not like there have been a lot of dirty kids trampling their feet through here. It's not exactly a tourist cave. stupid camera always points to point at the flashlight staring at my own dang flashlight All right. okay ah. all right let's see if I can crawl through here in one piece feel much I feel a little bit of headwind not super great uh,
Okay. I'm at another place I could stand up temporarily. Then I gotta get in and crawl again. Very uneven cave. I'm gonna have to talk with the architect. <laughs> There's another little pile of rocks. <laughs> okay, let me pan up here. No, just rock. All right. For those of you wondering, it's just rock up there. <laughs> Huh, that's weird. There's a little notch in the rock here. Well, I think this simply, yeah, it was like one rock and it cracked funny. <sighs> Whoa. Wow. There, okay, that's the way I came up. I could tell because the entrance is downhill. And, uh, well, plus I remember coming through. <laughs> anyway. Now this is the part where it's tight and the floor is loose gravel. Thank goodness I got knee pads. Man, I need elbow pads. I'm gonna have to literally belly crawl through here. But see how far I can get on my knees. are ever in a cave this wet or if they're always in dry caves definitely i've seen them in wet caves but yeah whatever this time of year they won't be hibernating this is summer this is mid-july Check out that puddle. Before I do that, see if I can. Uh, so that's the way I came up. Crawled up there just a little bit. So there. Let's see here. Cool little puddle. <laughs> 